stuff like that. Yeah, very good. Good to see the, the pitchers uh, get off the mound. Just saw some guys take ground balls and the BP. Um, so productive day. Excited to see some of the pitchers that we talked about earlier. Uh, wags through Tyler Alexander, Uisawa. Um, so a lot of guys that we discussed during the offseason now to get them off the mound. I saw you talking afterward with Uisawa and you and Eric and there's like some laughing and stuff. Just yeah. Conversation like Just a very personal guy. Uh, impressive guy, you know. Uh, he's done a lot of really good things over in that league, and we're fortunate that we have him over here. He seemed very uh, eager to, you know, get with Kyle, see what was going to help him be the best version of himself over here in this league. But uh, just impressed with how excited he was to be here and kind of ingrain himself within the clubhouse. I think one of the things he said before he came over is that he wants to pitch as many innings as he possibly can. So cool. He's a curious yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many that's going to be, but. We'll take any pitcher that says that they like to pitch a lot of innings. But look, as much as any guy that we have in camp, he, he is just built up. He's been there, done it. I asked him, I can't believe I asked him how long he's played for. He said 12 years. He looks like he's 18 years old. So, um, I mean, the buildup is there, and we'll kind of just build him up as a starter. Kevin, do you put any creams in rotations one through five? Um, a lot of emphasis, we in the media do that. But do players put any or officials put any credence into may, who may be top of the rotation, bottom of the rotation, one through five? Is there any credibility in, in that? Do you think? What's your What's your feeling? I mean, you're gonna have your you're gonna have your opening day starter. In theory, that's your ace. Um, from that point on, it, with off days, it just it doesn't always line up where you have opening day or ace to ace. So we need them all to be good. Uh, and they can all contribute in different ways. And every every one of them, one through five, probably have different expectations. They have diff different expectations of themselves. Zach Eflin's the only guy in your starting rotation that was in your starting rotation at this time last year. What's that like as a manager to just have uh, you guys out there? Uh, Exciting, uh, but you know you can't take away from what the guys that we had last year. I mean, coming into spring training last year, we felt like we were really well positioned in a rotation. Uh, we feel that way this year. We're just going to get there a little differently. Maybe some more established guys last year, but guys that are kind of eager for opportunity. It is nice to have a guy like Zach Eflin that's kind of a mainstay that can carry over and lead this group. You have Savale and Latell who joined midseason last year. You know, where do they stand? And I did. I mean, look, I, I don't know where we would have gotten without Zach Littell and the contributions. Uh, we have built starters up in the past from reliever to starter. That one was about as smooth a uh, transition as you could ask for in pretty dominant fashion. I mean, he was efficient through, <clears throat> excuse me, through strikes, got deep into ball games. What all starters, uh, that's kind of their goal to do. And with Aaron, early on, right when we acquired him, did some really good things. Strikeout rate spiked. I think, like Eric said yesterday, probably some unlucky stuff took place. But he's a guy that's been there, done that. So to have those guys complimenting each other and Zach, I feel like we're in a good spot. And then Taj and Shane, can you speak to those guys and where they might be um, you know, getting into the starting position? Taj, uh, look, he – he got a lot of good reps last year. He's as we were very excited about the potential and to see excited to see him kind of take another step forward. But his stuff is really impressive to watch from the side. I'm guessing it's pretty impressive when you're in the batter's box facing him. As far as Shane goes, we're going to take a uh, you know a conservative approach and build him up very slowly, knowing that we don't have an exact number, but we're not going to go out there and expect 200 innings of him. So I think this spring. Uh, he'll get through spring, and then maybe we'll start uh, his buildup afterwards.